We've got Sonia from Narrative. Uh, Sonia's going to come up and do a presentation on uh, creativity and display advertising for everyone. So thank you, Sonia. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I need this. Oh, fantastic. Hi. Let me just stand this side. So um, this is after lunch. So if you guys are slumping and you haven't noticed, that is not a spelling mistake. That is on purpose. What we do is all of us react better to stories. We remember stories. We talk to people about our lives in the form of a story. So we're basically taking ads and we turn it into a story, an ad story. So when we decided what are we going to call our company, we thought, okay, well, we can't call ourselves ad stories. That's just like me. So a story is nothing more but a narrative. Okay? If you own your story and if you own your own narrative, why can't you change it? So we did. So this is our narrative. So I'm very much looking forward to introducing you to it. So display advertising. I'm assuming everybody here knows what display advertising is. Do you think it's time for display advertising to change? Can I see a hands for yes? Ah, while you're in luck, you're in the right session then. So display advertising has got a lot of things that count for it. You can go so wide. You can target people. I mean, it's so scary to see what you can actually target. But it's also got some issues. Now, I've got 10 minutes, so I can't talk about all the issues. So here's my favorite ones. Ad blindness. Now, we've all seen this. We've all been on our phones, and as soon as an ad comes up, you scroll. You just go past it. You don't see it. Then you've got viewability. Now, there's a stat that's actually quite horrific. 82% of people don't even see your ad, but you pay money for it. So that's money down the drain that can be used somewhere else in a great out-of-home campaign. You know, I would love to do something like that. And then also engagement and attention. Now, in a lot of the sessions that we were in today, everybody's talking about attention. How do you capture people's attention? How do you know if they're engaged? How can you measure that? That is such a tricky thing. So I'm going to show you something that's going to show you, in a nutshell, what we basically do. And I'm going to press another button, and then it might work. Could I have sound on this, please? Shall I go back? Let me do that. Ha ha. Did you? Did you? Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> Are you ready for me to play again? Ah, anywho, so what we were doing when we started, I'm a, I'm a marketer at heart, and um, I've been in marketing for many years, and what really grated me was the fact that you spend a lot of money, and the CFO at the end of the day goes, so where's the result, what's happening with this? And um, that's one of the reasons why we're actually looking at doing what we're doing, to take issues that currently exist in the display area and actually improve on it and make it better and give agencies and clients alike, because we're not an agency, so give agencies and clients alike a tool belt that has got great tools in so when they go and present to their clients, they look like superheroes. I like to use Batman as an example because Batman is the only superhero that can actually exist. He doesn't have fake powers, he's got kit. So we are the kit to make you look like a superhero. Do we, are we ready? Fabulous. Brace yourself, racers. Okay. So, I'll just talk through this ad for you. So what this basically says is the advertising that we currently see is boring. People don't interact with it. They're looking for something that's cool and that's fun. So we are much more than just your traditional post. We are ad stories. We bring people engagement. So why, did, why do the ads still look like this? Nobody knows. What can we do about it? We can change it, which we will do. So what I'm going to show you next, I just need to show you the cat, because I do believe, yes. <laughs> there we go. That cat deserves an Oscar in, in my book. So basically, ad stories, what it is, it's a highly customizable HTML format. So if you can imagine it, we can build it. And also, this lives on the open web. So this can go as wide or as narrow as you need it to go. 
We integrate rich media into it. So gone are the days of a little square ad that does a little bit of this. You can have video, and we've got interactive elements that I'm going to show you about a little bit more as well. But I'm also going to so get your phones ready because you're going to be able to see how this works first time and swipe your own finger over your own phone. Now, what we also do is we measure dwell time and also attention. So where this actually comes in quite handy is we, we ran a campaign for Oxford Summer Courses, and we did two sets of creatives for them. And we ran them at the same time as an A-B test. Now, our ad stories works exactly like an Instagram story. So you have the scenes at the top. Now, what we did is we actually measured which of the scenes on those two ad stories did the best. Now, all of you would know, if you get a 1% click-through rate on a display campaign, you go, yeah, job done, great stuff. So we took the, the scenes on those ad stories that performed the best, we combined them into one ad story, okay? We rolled that out. What did we get? Let me just do this. <laughs> yeah, a 9% click-through rate on display. And that's not even the campaign that did the best for us. Now, what you will see here, this is how it'll come up. It takes over your entire screen, and it's quite interactive. You'll see that there's some interactive sessions here, but I'll, I'll show you, bear with me. This little aeroplane at the top means that you can share this ad unit. Where do you get a display ad that you can currently share? You'll have to take a screenshot, then go into WhatsApp, and then you share this. Not this bad boy. You can share it. So if I see a shirt that I know Claire would love, I can share it with her. And then what happens is I not only get my data, I also get Claire's. So yeah, Mike, I, I should have had another one of these. Um, <laughs> so we actually measure attention and interaction. Now, we've got a couple of features that I'm going to show you. So, the first one is tap to action hotspot. So that is basically multiple call to action buttons. This is used very successfully if you want to give people a little bit more information about your product. Or you want to say this is also available in green. Or we've got a 20% sale on, click here, buy it now. So it all depends on what your product or your client's product want to achieve. The next one is a poll and a quiz. Now we've run a campaign for um, a company where they have these bottles of booze at the end of the night and they run around and they say, would you like to buy a shot? So they wanted to up those sales. They ran a poll and said, when do you want to receive this, at the beginning or at the end of the night? So they thought it's going to be at the end. The feedback they got is at the beginning, we want to get this party started. So they literally changed the way their activation works and they upped their sales. Swipe to reveal and scratch to reveal is basically based on people's curiosity. Everybody wants to know what's in the box, what's behind the door. So this is what we use this for. So you've got a vertical swipe that works really great for before and after pictures. Oh, do I want that car in blue or in green? So it all depends. And then scratch to reveal, you'll see here, you've got a static front layer, not this one, the next one, that you can scratch off. But that does not have to scratch away to a static image, it could be a video. You could combine three or four of these in one ad story. It all depends what your brand would like to achieve. Now, the proof is in the pudding. So we currently see that people spend about 50 seconds on our ad units. Now show me the person that spends 50 seconds on a display ad. You're gonna stand there? Yeah, not gonna happen. The reason for this is people don't see our ad units as an advert, they see it as content. This is the way they actually react and, and view content on Instagram and TikTok at the minute. But we've changed it into an ad that they would like to see, an ad story. Now, engagement rating, we see between 6 and 10%. And then this is my favorite, click-through rate. We start at well and then we build on that. We are a little bit conservative with this because we don't want to over-promise and under-deliver. But we've seen in all the campaigns that we've run so far a higher than a 4% click-through rate on display in the open web. I actually needed more than those. Um, now, does everybody have their phones ready? Okay, now put them in your pocket. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. 
So if you scan that QR code, what this is going to give you is a little bit of an overview of all the ad elements that we have. And you'll be able to play on your phone and see how they work and what you can do with all our ad units. And I do believe the red light is flickering for me. If you have any questions, please feel free to shout. And I've got two colleagues over there that's also more than happy to answer any of your questions. Have a fantastic day and enjoy the summer.